Okay. Um, actually, I should um, list out what kind of analysis that we need to do um, for biodiversity indices. Um, well, it needs, it can, you can, you can choose whichever you want. But these are some of the analysis that is common for biodiversity indices. So we actually um, list about six, and we have covered um, number five, okay, and also number two. So uh, we have four more to go. So I would like for now looking at um, pattern of distribution. So why is it important to look at pattern of distribution? Distribution means, of course, um, adalah um, taburan, taburan species, okay? Uh, dekat di uh, pada replica berbeza-beza, okay? And we want to see the pattern. Why is it important to see pattern? Because from the pattern, actually, we will know that um, how how good is that habitat, how bad, how depopulated that habitat is. So um, from the analysis known as rank abundance curve, we will be able to distinguish what kind of um, model okay, representing our data. Um, we need to arrange our data in such a way that um, arranging it, rearranging it from the most frequent to the least frequent. So what I have just done is I'm copying the 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 raw data, the yeah the initial data, and copying it to another sheet because I don't want to you know to be to dis disturb that uh, the original data. So this is the copied one, so I can do whatever I want with this. Uh, so apa kita nak buat adalah nak susun data ni, okay? Daripada yang paling melimpah kepada yang paling rendah kelimpahannya lah but um, one more thing to remember it, to note that is for modeling okay, um, dia tidak mengambil kira identity species tu it just want to know the distribution of uh, different species but not knowing what species there are so in that case we can already delete the species column to delete that so kita hanya tinggal uh, kelimpahan species berdasarkan different plots different replicate so kita nak susun data ni daripada ok so um, this figure menunjukkan uh, different types of model showing um, the different types of distribution models so the most common ones are geometric series, log series, and log normal. And in some cases, we also have local stick. Okay, bear in mind that these models are hypothetical. So um, when we do analysis and outcome of the analysis, we should then um, relate the result to these models. So which model represent your data? So apa maksud ketiga-tiga model ni? For example, the first model, the geometric series, why is it so different from the rest of the models? The first model, the geometric series, indicate that um, habitat itu adalah sangat terganggu. Okay, dia mengandungi bilangan species yang tak banyak. Okay, and it's very highly dominant. See, so bilangan bilangan species yang tak banyak and it's highly dominant for certain species. Okay, let's move on to another. Uh, no, the third one. Okay, let's look at log normal. So log normal is the most optimum um, model for uh, ecological model. So it means that um, there's a lot of um, species in that area. That area adalah satu kawasan yang sudah matang. So mengandungi species yang sama rata, tiada yang terlalu dominant, tiada yang terlalu kurang. So that what it means. Mana kala log series pula, okay, adalah in between, okay, in between geometric and the log normal. Okay, so that's what it means. So kita nak susun data ni uh, mengikut susunan paling frequent kepada yang paling rendah frequency. 
So what we do is kita highlight the first column, the first side. Okay, and then we go to sort and filter. Then kita pergi. Um, we want to sort from largest to smallest. Then of course, dia akan keluarkan um, warning macam ni. So nak tanya kamu nak expand selection or you want to continue. So you want to continue with the current selection. Okay, kita nak buat satu-satu. Then sort. So see, dia dah berubah kan? So do the same for the remaining sides. Okay. Largest to smallest. Continue with current selection. Begitu juga dengan side yang lain-lain. Just the smallest continue with current selection. Okay, see, yang paling tinggi di atas, paling rendah di bawah. <coughs> Tapi kita tak mengubah dia punya the cumulative number. So semua pun berhenti dekat top tiga, walaupun different sides having different species kan. Okay, so we're done with that. So what we do now, kita nak construct, construct curve base on these sides. So what we do is insert okay, insert and then choose this one, insert scatter and choose scatter with smooth lines and marker and what we want is um, uh, to arrange it in such a way that it starts from the most frequent to the last frequent so it looks like uh, kita punya figure ni tak begitu betul so we need to customize it so go to how do we custom it so I'm telling you another tip kalau kamu nak tukar nak ubah-ubah elemen dalam graph what we do is kita pergi select data ok so we want four curves but see here it's only three curves mana satu lagi curve dia jadikan satu curve ni which is the ds as the x uh, punya axis which is not what we want okay so we want the x to be part of the curve so what we do is kita pergi add and we add the ds a series name click sini click sekali and then click that arrow okay apa yang kita nak buat there is no x value mana kala y value referring to the to the data in each of the plots in each of the replicates so kita click daripada the first number until the last number and click enter or click back the arrow and ok ok so kita dah nampak ds so I would like to put ds on top so kita click this arrow ok now we do the same for the rest of the curves um, so let's start with ms Okay, MS. We need to um, tell Excel that the X axis of MS is actually zeros. It's not referring to DS. So what do we do? We click MS and then we click Edit. Okay. So series name is correct. MS. When the color X value it should be empty. The Y value adalah seperti yang di highlight kan. So that should be alright. Okay kita buat juga yang lain US the series name is ok, X value should be empty, the Y value is probably correct ok, <coughs> last but not least is TS similarly no value X value, Y value is correct, ok so look kita dah dapat dah, ok so look, kita dah dapat empat curves ok, BS, MS, US, TS <coughs> I would like to put the legend on the right ok so, um, can you tell which models does these curves belongs to but well, it's a little bit difficult to determine at this point so, another thing is what we can do is kita boleh um format kan the y axis because at this point because of too many species dia nampak rapat rapat so uh, we can actually lock this y axis so we go to click right click at the y axis and then go to format axis ok it should come out this um, address on your right 
Then kita pergi um, logarithmic scale. So if you, so by default it's not locked, but you can lock it, and you can choose um, whatever value of lock value that you want to use. So by default dia letak 10 but 10 is too much. See, dia nampak memang satu 10. So dia gandaan 10. So you can choose other other locks. You can put try five. See what happen. So dia nampak tak? So kalau tadi kita tengok curve tu dia macam sangat rapat-rapat, but now when you lock the y axis, dia dah nampak dah sedikit, you know, pattern lah you can you can distinguished. Um the curves what about two let's try two two is not too bad so i would like to try to lock the y axis as lock two okay so now kita dah nampak dah all right let's go one by one ds okay referring to this model just now so we have geometric lock series and lock normal here so what do you think um, ds would be what about ms what about us this one and what about ts cuba kamu relate kan dengan model model hypothetical model yang saya sebutkan tadi this one okay then um, bila kita dah relate kan kita dah try while well, this thing is subjective okay so i know there is a problem this is very subjective sometimes it's between geometric series and log series so you don't know which one so um Past software can help us to make decision. So, in order to make decision, past software can help us. Okay. So, how do we do that? Kita nak tahu um, site DS, MS, US, DS, which models that they um, represented by. Is it geometric series, log series, or log normal? So, um, how do we do that with pass? So we click one by one, one row, one column by one column. So first, let's click um, DS, and then instead of clicking diversity, we choose model, and then this is um, an abundance model. So we click abundance. Okay, di sini ada empat jenis. So another one is broken stick. I did not um, stress too much on that, but sometimes you can also get broken stick. You can read up what a broken stick means. Okay. So, um, and here we have the chi-square value and the p-value. So, you need to write down the chi-square value and the p-value for each of the models. So, we need to do, kita perlu try and error. Okay, the first one is geometric. So, the chi-square is 3.145, p-value is 0 0.999. Click number two, log series, chi-square is 4.765, p-value is 0 0.996. Okay, okay, jot it, jot it down. Okay, broken stick. Chi square is 5.19, p value is 0 0.99. Log normal, chi square is 1.316, p value is 0 0.518. So, comparing these four models, we um, please look at the p value and we want to choose the, the p value which is the lowest. Okay, so, um I would say that the lowest would be log normal. Okay, p value is 0.518. Yang lain lain semua 0.99 something. So then we can decide that the s represented by log normal model. So then you know that it is a log normal model. So it's a good sign. It is evenly distributed, and you can you know, kamu boleh cerita kan dengan lebih lanjut lah. And then you can do the same for the rest of the sign. How do we do that? I, um, let me repeat again. For example, click MS, click model, click abundance, and then um, go to all this model and copy down the chi square and the p value and choose the, the lowest p value, the model with the lowest p value. Okay? Alright. 